What if gravity is just an illusion caused by time? Imagine you're standing outside on a crisp morning, apple in hand. You let it go, and of course it falls, straight to the ground. Simple, right? That's gravity. The invisible hand pulling everything down. Or is it? What if that falling apple isn't being pulled at all? What if it's simply sliding through time? Stick with me, because this isn't science fiction. This is Einstein-level weirdness that flips our entire view of the universe upside down. Literally. Let's rewind to the early 1900s, where a rebellious physicist named Albert Einstein was quietly blowing up everything we thought we knew about space, time, and gravity. Before Einstein, we had Newton's version of gravity. Apples fall, planets orbit, because there's an invisible force pulling everything toward everything else. That idea worked for centuries, but Einstein looked at it and said, nope, that's not quite right. He proposed something radically different. Gravity, he said, isn't a force at all. It's what happens when space and time, space-time gets bent by mass and energy. To picture this, imagine space-time as a giant rubber sheet, like a trampoline. Put a heavy bowling ball in the center and the surface curves. Now roll a marble across it. It doesn't go in a straight line anymore. It curves toward the bowling ball, not because it's being pulled, but because the surface it's moving on is distorted. That's what massive objects like planets and stars do to the space-time around them. They create dips, curves, ridges, and those curves are what we feel as gravity. But wait, it gets even stranger. Einstein's math didn't just say that space gets distorted. It said time gets distorted too. In the presence of a massive object, time actually slows down. The closer you are to Earth or any heavy object, the slower time ticks for you compared to someone farther away. This isn't theory, we've measured it. GPS satellites, which orbit high above Earth, have to correct for time moving faster in space. Without those adjustments, your Google Maps would get less accurate by about 10 kilometers per day. So yeah, real stuff. Now here's the twist. Imagine that apple again, just hanging there in your hand. It wants to move forward through time because everything does. But near Earth, time is ticking a tiny bit slower than it is even just a few feet above. So when you let go, the apple isn't being pulled down. It's following the path of least resistance through space-time. That path bends downward towards slower time. In other words, the apple falls not because of a force dragging it, but because time itself is warped, and the apple is just doing what any object would, moving straight ahead through the weird terrain of bent time. This way of thinking about gravity as a side effect of warp time makes the universe a whole lot more surreal. Because now, down isn't really down, it's just the direction that time flows slower. Gravity becomes not a thing but a consequence, an illusion created by the uneven flow of time around mass. And this idea has real consequences when we scale it up. Near black holes, for instance, the warping of time becomes so extreme that time nearly stops at the event horizon. That's why if you watch someone fall into a black hole, don't try this at home, they'd appear to freeze in time at the edge, because from your perspective, their clock has slowed almost to a standstill. Inside the hole? We don't know. Physics breaks down. But one thing's clear. Wherever gravity is strongest, time is the weirdest. So the next time you drop something and it falls, don't just think of gravity as a force yanking it to the ground. Think of it as the object flowing through a warped river of time, surfing a cosmic current bent by Earth's mass. Einstein taught us that reality isn't as straightforward as it looks. Gravity might be real, but the way it works is nothing like what our senses tell us. It's not pulling us down, it's time, tipping us forward into the curves of space-time. And here's the brain melter to leave you with. If gravity is really just the geometry of space-time and time is warped by mass, then what if time is gravity? What if the thing that holds our feet to the ground is the very same thing that moves clocks forward and creates the illusion of past and future? In that case, we're not just stuck to the Earth by gravity, we're woven into it by time itself. So, is gravity an illusion caused by time, or is time just what gravity feels like? Either way, we are all riding the curves of the cosmos, and the apple was never falling, it was time, bending, mind, blown.